Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa qualification runs. And today we're starting a brand new qualifying run with the nation of Jordan. The reason being is because they've miraculously made it to the Asia Cup final against pretty much all the odds. Didn't they beat like South Korea in the semi-final? That's actually ridiculous. I don't know who they got on the squad uh, currently these days, but they must be pretty decent players to reach the Asia Cup final when you've got teams like Japan, South Korea, uh, Iran, Australia, you know, in the whole tournament. And somehow Jordan made it through. So congratulations to Jordan for making it to the final. A lot of people asked for this run because of that reason and just this once I decided to break my usual schedule and just sandwich Jordan into my tight schedule. Of course though we have to qualify and um, I'm hoping for a good group. I've replaced some of the smaller teams in this run and I've left the big teams as well but we have to randomize it like we usually do. So in three, two, one, boom. And we're in a group with Palestine, Syria and Qatar. So literally, that is a decent group for Jordan. Um, and the most interesting thing about it is that all these nations are pretty much next to each other. Like you think Qatar's not that far away, but Syria, Palestine and Jordan are very close to each other. So you've got a very regionalized group. So checking out the squad for Jordan back in 2010, it's quite an average team for a two-star nation. You've got some players that are 50 rated and some that are 60 rated. The star player is this guy called Salim. And before we start, we're always on Legendary because it is the best and most fun way to play these qualifying runs. Our first match sees us at home and we are against Syria. For this one, we are playing in white and Syria playing in red and white. Of course, Jordan not licensed on this game. Their kits anyway, so it's literally just like a plain white shirt. But let's see if we can get Jordan all the way to the World Cup. Their journey begins now. And I'm really hoping, this isn't like a bias or anything like that, but I really hope that Jordan win the AFC Asia Cup because obviously they haven't won it before. And, you know, they're against Qatar in the final. And I'd rather Jordan win it than Qatar because Qatar actually won it the, um, the tournament previous. I'm hoping this run could be a good one. It might be a bit tough to go against Syria and Qatar. I'm not really too sure about Palestine. They're around about sort of the same rating as Jordan, maybe slightly less. But Qatar and Syria should give me good battles especially the Qatar match I don't know how the game for like you know put Jordan and Qatar together because obviously they're playing in the final Salim how safe and he's just cut out there Syria doing really well to stop me so far 25 minutes in cross that one in and are oh, too close there well a bit too wide even should I say and um yeah there's barely been any chances for Jordan and Syria too. They haven't had anything. So a quiet first half here. Oh great takeaway there. Mahmoud. He's going through. Oh my goodness. Putting it wide like that. Oh, every time I do that. Try and slide underneath the keeper. It will go wide like that. I should probably stop doing that. And just start smashing it into the back of the net. Oh great tackle. And a save. I thought I'd pull it past him, but no. Another fantastic save by the Syrian keeper. And it's still all level here in Jordan. Syria just trying the San Marino approach and just holding on at the back here with about eight players at the back. It's actually insane how many people they got at the back here. Al Sheikh. The finesse shot. Oh my goodness, yes! Off the bar and in, and he's found a way past that brick wall that has been in front of us the entire game. The Syrian brick wall has been smashed by a long finesse shot by Al Sheikh. And look at this, that was so nice. Look at that. The goalkeeper was staring at it there. I love scoring goals like that, especially on older games, because, you know, older games don't really have, like, proper sort of like physics or technology that we have these days when you score those types of goals. Jordan 
have been very good here. You could say a little lucky with the finesse shot, but they have done it. They have got their first win of this campaign. Marching on now, we either have to play Palestine or Qatar. Our second match away from home is against Palestine. Now, Palestine actually just beat Qatar 1-0 in the previous match, just like we did to Syria. So this could be a little bit of a battle here, especially considering that, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, Palestine and Jordan actually border each other. It's a through ball. And taken away there. Can we score? How are you putting that wide? Was that a save or something? No, it wasn't. It's a through ball. Salim is going through here. Can Salim score his first goal of this campaign? No, he can't. <laughs> I need to. I, I, I keep relying on that technique so much and it keeps going wide like that. Here we go. Salim. And it's blocked by the Palestine player and it is a corner to Jordan. Oh no. How's that not a corner? That literally came off of him. And we still got it. Gave it away. It's been a very awkward half. Palestine defended very well so far. Especially um, with most of the shots I've had. But I'd say also we've been unlucky with some of the shots. We put them wide and our placement isn't quite there. So we're going to go into half time with the scores all level between these two. It's quite a hard one to call. Jordan have had most of the possession, most of the shots. We seem like the stronger team, but anything can happen when you are away from home. Let's give play. And finally, we put it in for 1-0. Kind of deserved, to be honest, because obviously we've been pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. And we've been missing tons of shots. But Salim has scored to make it 1-0 to Jordan. An hour played and we're still 1-0 up. Obviously, we only just got our goal very recently. Um, we could have been a couple more goals up, to be honest. But... Um, you know, I get it. I get it. And Syria have equalized against Qatar. That's pretty good. Very, very exciting game in the other game there. Over the top. Go on. Oh, my goodness. Every time we put it wide in that situation. Palestine cross it in. It's headed and tipped away there. That was a bit of an unnecessary move. Could have just caught it. And here we go. Poke down to Suleiman. Can Suleiman finish this game off? He has finished it off in the 90th minute. And it's 2-0. And Suleiman has scored to finish off the game. Unlucky Palestine. You played really well in that match. And obviously defended well. Um... Of course, Jordan did miss a ton of shots, so there is that side of it. They're pushing from the kickoff, and they put that one wide. And that should be the end of the game. Yep, it is 2-0 to Jordan. Another victory on the board. And now we just have to test ourselves against Qatar. If we can win against Qatar, nine points at the halfway point would be amazing. Here we go then, Jordan versus Qatar, we are at home for this one, and this is obviously the matchup between Jordan and Qatar for the Asia Cup that's happening very soon at the time of recording. I don't know what day it is, but I'm recording this on a Thursday, so I believe the final's either on a Saturday or Sunday, I can't really remember, but... This should be a very interesting game between these two nations. Qatar have only got one point so far. We could really help out either Syria or Palestine in their hopes of qualifying if we can pin back Qatar. Go on. There's a massive gap here. Abdu Ali. He's quite slow. He's not really going to push his way. He might do. Oh my god. God, how many times? I mean, okay, that one wasn't a good shot. I know I was um, facing the wrong way there. Running here, out on the wing. He crosses that one in. Too close to the keeper. It's punched away. And again, another quiet half from Jordan. We've had a lot of that in this series so far. A lot of quiet starts. And this is a great ball by Qatar. They poke it past my keeper. And it's in for 1-0. And Al Blushi has scored to make it 1-0 for Qatar. We're struggling now to get the ball off of Qatar. And they roll it to my keeper. 
Jordan need to pick this up. Um, we've had a bit of issue with shooting and tackling as well in this match. As we go into half time, we're 1-0 down. Cross that in. And it's gone straight to the other wing. I see a guy outside of the box here. And it's blocked. Qatar, very good defending so far to stop us. And I don't blame them, to be fair. They've only got one point. Referee helps us out there. Qatar, very surprised because, obviously, they would have bribed the ref before the game. I'm just kidding, by the way. Anybody, any any fans of Qatar, I'm just kidding. Up to you. Oh, my God. A wide again. Into the middle. To you. And slid out in the box. That is going to be a penalty for Jordan. Now, will it be a red or a yellow card for that challenge? Nothing. Okay. Here comes a quell. If that's how you say it properly. Can he do it? The captain steps up and scores to make it 1-1. And to save us in this match, in the 67th minute, a quell has scored to equalise. Go on. Through ball. Salim. And it's saved by the goalkeeper. I didn't really have much options on that one. And it's going to be a corner. I'd love it if we can steal this game in the final moments. That would be great. Crossed in and not headed. Headed away there by Qatar. And that's going to be it. A 1-1 draw between Jordan and Qatar. I feel like, like Qatar were stronger than us in that match. Like At times they dominated on the ball. But they just didn't do enough. To actually press me. Obviously they got the goal. And then they conceded a penalty as well. So I kind of got lucky. In regards to getting back into the game. But it's just. I don't know. Jordan shooting isn't brilliant so far. I'm hoping it's just. A, based on the fact that. You know it's them out of form. Or something like that. I don't know. Because we haven't scored enough goals yet. But we'll see. So at the halfway point, this is your table. Jordan are top with seven points. And Syria have got four points. Palestine have got three. And Qatar with two. So in a heartbeat, it could change very quickly. Um, Jordan have got a very nice cushion over Syria. And a nice cushion over Palestine. Checking out the other groups. Just out of interest. Just in Asia for now. We'll check out the other groups at the end of the video. So Japan and North Korea are top. In those top two places. China not that far behind. And Yemen I don't think they have too much of a chance. In group B Uzbekistan are leading the pack in that one. And Saudi Arabia with three points, Iraq with two, and Bahrain with two as well. So it's very close for that second place spot. In Group C, we have Australia and Iran, as expected, in those top two positions. Oman have got three points and could do something. Myanmar, again, I don't think are going to do anything. And in the group that's interesting me the most, we have South Korea top with seven points. And then we have Sri Lanka with five. Uh, Taiwan with two and Tajikistan with one. So it's going to be an interesting race for that second place spot. Our next match away from home is going to be against Qatar. So we are playing in red this time round and Qatar in white. Very basic kits. I wish there was more licensing on this game. What a ball that was. That was an amazing ball and off the post. How unlucky was that? Oh, that's a really bad error. And here comes Ibrahim. And I don't know why he shot like that. I really don't know why he did that. I thought he was going to charge towards the goal and tap it in. Over the top. What a ball. Abdul Ali. He slots it in for 1-0. Finally, someone that can finish their chances. And Abdul Ali has scored to make it 1-0 to Jordan against Qatar away from home. Crossed in by Qatar, headed away. They're not getting anything at the moment. As it goes into half time, we are 1-0 up away from home. This will be a big result in qualifying. It will mean that we're still unbeaten. It will mean we'll have 10 points. 10 points is usually the benchmark we need to go into the next round. And that was a great bit of intercepting play from Qatar to stop me from through balling it to the striker. And now here comes Soria. We've fallen asleep. Soria. Come on. 
off the post. The post saved us. Oh, my goalkeeper stood still and I was just thinking to myself, what are you doing? But I think he knew that he was going to hit the post. <laughs> well, I doubt he did, but very lucky. It's only 10 minutes to play and Jordan are holding on. And it feels like Qatar are getting stronger and stronger and it feels like they're going to get the equaliser very soon. Turning there, Salim. He puts it in for two and that finishes off Qatar and away from home we have got a massive victory against Qatar and Salim has scored to finish the game. It's 2-0 and that's going to be it. Qatar have lost this game 2-0 to Jordan and Jordan still remain unbeaten in this qualifying campaign. Syria are second place, only three points behind us in the campaign but even if we lose I doubt that we'll be able to fall out of those spots because Palestine have only got three points and Qatar only have two. Over the top Mahmoud out on the wing he crosses that one in and oh he just scored from the cross I finally done it I finally done it on 2010. The thing that the computer does against me all the time, I just scored. That's No, you're not skipping that replay, AI. Absolutely amazing work from Jordan here on this cross. Look at this. I mean, I tried to cross it in and the bend on that. I know the keeper assisted it in going in. But what a moment that is for Jordan against Syria. And for me as well. I've been secretly hoping to do that on this game for years especially when the computer does it against me all the time if you're a long time fan of the channel you'll know that most of the bigger nations do that against me and they're gonna be maybe 2-0 down they are and they are now 2-0 down Salim scores to make it 2 you can bet that Jordan have all but secured their advancement into the final round of qualifying Syria, oh, good shot and good save as well. And that's going to be a corner to Syria. They tried to give me a taste of my own medicine. The finesse shot from outside the box. Here comes Syria into the middle and they put it in. Just as Qatar have scored their third and Wraith has scored to make it 2-1 now. There we go, that's the end of the game, and despite losing, Syria will go through alongside myself to go to the next round. Jordan have done it more convincingly than Syria, but that's fine, we are through to the next round. And like I said, I've been quite happy with Jordan here um, at the start, had some teething problems with the shooting, but... Other than that, it's been pretty good. Now, hold on a minute. I guess I was wrong about Syria. So, Jordan have gone through, but we have to play Palestine right now, and they are out of it anyway. Despite what happens, they're out of it. Even if they beat me, they're still out of it. But Syria have to play Qatar, and Qatar have to win in order to go through. And Syria have to win in order to stay in that spot. So it's going to be exciting to see what's going to happen in that match. Here we go then, final match of our group. And it's against Palestine. Let's see what we can do here against them. And um, just continue the good runner form. Go on, cross that in. Header. Oh, it's gone right through and straight in. And that is 1-0. And Aquel has scored to make it 1-0. What a powerful header that was. Qatar and Syria still 0-0. So as it stands, Syria will be going through to the next round. Through ball. Salim. He puts it in for two. That's 2-0. Two and even though it doesn't matter, it's still good to see Salim get on to the score sheet again. Syria have taken the lead against Qatar late in the game. Is it over for Qatar? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I just thought I'd shoot randomly and this dude had just scored from like 30, 40 yards out. Mahmood has scored a brilliant goal in a match that doesn't matter. That's why I hit it from that distance and that was fantastic. Just pass it back to him and I was just like, yep, yeah, have a go. 
And what a strike that was. What a way to end this first part of qualifying with a shot like that. I just have to see that one more time. Just absolutely amazing there from Mahmoud against Palestine to make it 3-0 and game over. And that's going to be it. The final match, we won 3-0 over Palestine. It didn't matter, but it's still good to keep up the form. And I'm assuming that Syria finished off Qatar in the last match. Let's have a look. Yes, they did. So me and Syria advanced to the next round. Well done to both teams. I'm really impressed by Jordan so far. And I'm hoping that our next group is a decent group as well. All right, then, guys. So this is our group and um, well <laughs> it's placed us in a really really tough group we have Iran Australia Korea Republic and Syria from the last group so very tough group for Jordan don't know if we're gonna do it we'll have to find out in the next video and in group A it looks like this you have Japan Saudi Arabia Uzbekistan North Korea and Sri Lanka so that doesn't look good for Sri Lanka but any of those groups would have been pretty difficult. I'd say my group is slightly more difficult. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this first part with Jordan. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.